Got a late start on the vlog today. Man, it's hot outside, man. Picking up Kingston from work. Hey! There's a the hard working man right there. Come on, I'm gonna do it. The door's locked. Come in the front. Oh, no one's here? Uh, how was work? Hold on. Oh, you got them, you got the pocket full of guap, huh, <laughs> man? <laughs> You like that. You like that, huh, man? I've been saving. Saving? You got tipped or what? No. Not today. I got tipped yesterday. Uh, yeah, I think yesterday. That's good. That's good. That's good, man. I'm proud of you, man. I'm proud of you. Actually, I need to put some of it in the bank because it doesn't fit in my wallet. Oh, that's a good problem to have. Nah, it's a very good problem to no. have. I'm about to make crunchy tacos. I actually know how to make them for my grandpa. All right, we back home and it's about that time. We finna cook it up. Oh, hold on. Where's my where's my uh chef's robe? What what is it called? Apron. Yes, sir. I know y'all see this, bro. I love this skull. Did you see your chef robe? <laughs> my chef robe. <laughs> well, hold on. Let me go get my apron, man. I'm a, I'm gonna be right back. Hold up. All right, you ready? Oh, you're not ready yet? You get it all together? Nah. As you see, Chef Kingston's in a building. He's been watching Gordon Ramsay. Yes, sir. And, and some Mexican chefs. So, uh, the Mexican chef I was watching but the other day is my grandpa cooked some crunchy tacos. And I actually just watched them. I didn't even ask him how to do it. I just watched them and I picked up the recipe in my head. First off, I didn't pick up the recipe. I just seen it. crunchy tacos. So right now, my shoe chef, our sous chef. You weren't too sharp on cutting garlic. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of new to cutting these little garlic things. So I'm trying to show how it's done. This right here, how, you, how your house smelling like grandma's house right here, man. I'm gonna give you a little tip when you're cutting onions. Don't breathe through your nose or you're gonna start crying. Breathe through your mouth. For the onions, you know, I'm not a big, I don't like big onions in my food, so I like to just dice them up just like these garlic are, not all the way diced. Now that you have your garlic cut into dices, what you wanna do is start cutting your onion. So Why you don't throw the garlic in the pan? So you do that all the same time. Okay. So just like so, and you're just, then you're just gonna end up cutting it into tiny little pieces. Oh, he cut his hand. You're supposed to cut like this, I heard. I don't know if I'm doing it right, hold on. I think you gotta cut it up. Just throw all that in there. Huh? See, this is what I'm talking about. You'll throw this big old piece of onion. Those are a bunch of little pieces stuck together, son. Oh. <laughs> want to throw them all in there so what we're going to do first before we do that is throw all this away because these are unneeded parts that will not need it go on throw it in dad you're making a mess are you kidding me then 
Ty, you're gonna clean your mess afterwards. Clean my mess? Now you just totally took this. All right, now. I once, totally took this. You just totally took this. <laughs> now once you do that, you're gonna start cutting your zucchinis. Off that no, message. that's not what you do next. You put the meat in next. While so, the meat's cooking, then you cut the zucchini. Yep, knew that part. So first what you want to do is, next what you want to do is cut your meat. Cut your meat? <laughs> <laughs> no! <sighs> it's not a good look, Dad. What are you throwing it on there for? Just dump it in the pan. <laughs> Here we go. Next, you just want to apply Tony seasoning all on that thing. Next, and some pencil bean seasoning. That's the secret sauce right there. Sauce. You want to put another another thing. Put it around. You know, you got to get that flavor. So then when you flip it up, when you mix it all around, it gets all in there. Put that pepper all in there. Around as well. Just like you do the other seasoning. And then, we get you any type of thing. I'm going to use this one right yeah, here. Yeah, I got this while you cut the zucchini. All right, now. I'm gonna start cutting the zucchinis. Like so. Chop it up, chop it up, chop it up. Apparently you're supposed to cut them thicker than I was. I didn't know that. You learned something new every day. All right, now once you got all that, you wanna put it, you wanna stack them up like so. You stack them up, and while you're stacking them up, I mean, once they're all stacked up into little things like this, you want to slice and dice them. You know what I'm saying? Ready? Like so. One. Two. Ready? One. Two. Now throw them in there. Yes, throw sir. them to the side. And throw those to the side. You're going to want to just leave them like that. Because these cucumbers actually dissolve, if you didn't know. Which you probably did. Just to inform you. Now what you want to do is you just want to apply them onto the meat. And just let it sit. And just let it cook. That's all you got to do. Just let it cook. Now you're going to come with that tomato. Yeah. I don't know about this tomato. I want to use like half of it. You're gonna cut off the front piece like so. Go bam. What was the way like this, Dad? Remember you told me you learned this on yeah, TV? Stop, stop. Yeah, you gotta not all the way down. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're supposed to go like a tic tac toe. Let me show you how. Oh, tic tac toe. I got you. He learned this on TV, guys. And you just tic tac toe it, and then. Yeah, but you're supposed to do it with a way sharper knife. Well. Yeah, but anyway, just go ahead, continue on. <laughs> no, it's, all, it's guts came out, Dad. Let's just do it the normal fashion way. That's why I don't like cutting tomatoes, guys. They're all... You don't know what you're doing. You're supposed to leave them in big chunks, throw them in there, they dissolve. <laughs> <laughs> they dissolve, don't they? That's going to give you your juice that you need. <laughs> this right here, that... This right here is what's going to give you your juice. Oh, I just spill out all my juice. Spill out, man. Just throw it in there. Close it. They're not too big. They're not going to stay big like that. Once you put the top on this pan, it's going to not be there no more. It's just going to be all juice. That's all right. All juice. How about last time we cooked tacos and I had a whole tomato? Pretty sure it was like not even cut. A whole tomato inside my tacos. How about all these zucchinis in here? I think you went overboard with the zucchini. I like zucchini. I wasn't going to cut them into small little pieces. They're still going to be that many. I know, but that's what Grandpa did. He cut them into small little pieces, and then you can, like, they're like that, like, little square pieces like this. Okay, throw the tomato in there so we can get to the next step. Alrighty. Alright, next step, next step. That's what we're looking like right now, if y'all want to know. Get some water in a cup. We're going to get about one cup. Well, this is not one cup, but... You know, I know what Like I mean. half of that. Yeah, like half of this. Yeah, exactly. Pour some of that out. No, no, that's good right there. So bam, I know. And then you want to pour some of this bad boy. Sazoon Kawi. Good 
Pacho. Uh, you don't want to make a mess either, guys. What is that going to do? It's going to just add some juicy flavor. And you want to stir it up? This is what it looked like, in case y'all want to know. That's what Kelly uses for her rice. You get like a little spoon, right? Or a fork. Just, it don't matter. You get like a little spoon. You can use a fork, it doesn't matter. Stir it up until it's thoroughly stored. Stirred. Oh. <laughs> now, once, that about, once that's about stirred, you just want to pour it in there. And I promise you, this will make your food 10 times better. Hey, boy, you just dropped it all my over shoes. my foot. Okay, it's time to pour it in there, guys. Mix that on there. Clean the floor. Gotcha. Uh, Ooh, we're already looking good. We got to do one last step, and then we're going to put the top on it and let it do its thing. Your last step It's going to be just squeeze some lime on there. You know what I mean? You got to get one. Or you can just use like one of those little lime squeezer things. Oh, we have one. Okay, one. Two. Three. Mm -hmm. Four. Oh, hold on, that was a bad one. Four. Damn. Hold on. What? The cilantro. Oh. You're right, you're right, you're right. My fingers are burning! Oh, it looks like blood for a second. You know why it's not good to throw all that raw meat on there? Because you're gonna put that cilantro on all that raw where you've had the raw meat. Of course, I cleaned this. I just wiped it. Oh, you just wiped it, huh? I did. Right. Bam. Okay, that's just like. You don't need that. Yeah. I'm boiling over here. Man, hold up. All right, all right, all right. There you go. Look at Kingston, bro. Look at me. I'm such a chef. Just look at this. Hold on. I know we're supposed to leave the top, but just look at this. You gotta leave the top on. Let it cook. That's no. how it cooks. You gotta leave the top on. Camera done got foggy. Camera done got foggy. Oh, yeah. This here takes the place of my Modelo y Corona and Tecate. Topo Chico, baby, H2O. Agua, the mineral. How's it? Delicious? Yup. Hold up, baby. Okay, well, cut the cameras. Of course, I had to take over. Kingston had to run to the restroom, tell my he had to go take a dump. <laughs> Bless you. Excuse me. Bless you. Y'all wanna come see the finishing result? Bam! There you go. Mm, mm, mm. So quick, so fast. I'm finna serve us and we finna eat. All right, shout out to Chef Kingston in the building. Hooked it up. This is our finishing result. I hope y'all had a blessed Saturday. We about to have some dinner. Is it good, Houston? Houston just woke up. He ain't having it. Is it good? You don't want to be on camera? No? No. You got something in your ear? And Kelly's on a diet. Lettuce wraps. She's going straight with the lettuce wraps, no tortillas. That's how you feel? You. Yep. <laughs> Okay, so what you doing? I put a little too much oil, guys. No, you didn't. That's why you cook it. Oh, uh, bro? Yeah. You want to cook your meat, and then you want to do this. I'm going to show you right now how to do this after I'm done. And that one's done. Okay. You want more? Don't worry. I'm going to eat it. You're going to eat it. Yeah, I'm straight. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's crispy. There yes, you sir. go. Crispy taco. Put this in there. Like so. And you want to wait until it starts to get bubbles all up in there, right? See if you know what you're doing. How is it? You know it's good. It's good. It's just real greasy. 
But that's why you gotta let it sit. What happened? You can call this. Now what you wanna do is before you flip it, get your meat. You don't wanna put a lot of meat, guys. Just so you know. You don't know what he's doing. I do, I do, I do. You're gonna flip it. Wait, how did you do it again? <laughs> oh my god, do it one time. Don't tell the camera. You don't know what you're doing, boy. You need Papa Lush to do it, but you messed up because you let your tortilla get hard. You're supposed to do it right when you put it in there so it don't get hard and you can turn it. Yeah. You put your tortilla in like so with the oil, and once you start seeing a bubble like that, let's see. Throw the meat on there. What you want to do is want to throw your meat on there. Because then if you don't do it, it's going it's to start getting all hard. And then what you do is you... Fold it over. Don't be scared. Fold it. Fold it over. Like so, and you hold it. This way with it, so you don't make sure you don't make your food fall. And you want to hold it down so it stays nice and firm. Like so. Like so. Like so. Like so. There you go. Alright guys, these are how they turned out. I put some bean and cheese in here. Yes, sir. Uh, Alright? Good. Well, I mean, thank you all for watching me make some crunchy tacos. If you want to see more Chef Kingston like this, like and subscribe and comment down below what you want to see. Peace.